Ever wondered how machine learning models select features for prediction? Well, today we're diving into one of the popular techniques called forward feature selection. Imagine a scenario where you're trying to predict the weather. You have numerous potential predictors at your disposal, such as temperature, humidity, wind speed, barometric pressure, and so on. But not all of these factors carry the same weight in determining the outcome. Some might be incredibly significant, while others could be merely noise, so how do we decide which ones to use? That's where forward feature selection steps in to save the day. Start by considering a blank slate. In the case of forward feature selection, this means starting with no features. Then, the algorithm assesses the performance of the model with each individual feature added to it. The feature that improves the model's performance the most gets selected first. Next, the algorithm repeats this process. It adds another feature to the one already selected and checks the performance. Again, the combination that offers the most significant improvement gets chosen. This step is repeated, adding one feature at a time until no other features improve the model's performance when added. It sounds like a tedious process, doesn't it? But remember, it's the machine doing the heavy lifting, not you. And by the end of it, you have a set of features that contribute the most to predicting your desired outcome. But it's important to note that forward feature selection isn't always a walk in the park. It can be computationally expensive, especially when dealing with a large number of features. And like any tool, it's not foolproof. There's always the risk of overfitting, where the model becomes too tailored to the training data and performs poorly on new unseen data. So, what are the key takeaways about forward feature selection? First, it's a stepwise method, meaning it adds one feature at a time to the model to improve its predictive performance. Second, it can be computationally expensive, so it's not always the best choice when dealing with a large number of features. And finally, while it's a powerful tool, it's important to be mindful of the risk of overfitting. In conclusion, forward feature selection is like picking out the best players for a team one at a time based on who improves the team's performance the most. But remember, selecting the right features is just one part of the machine learning journey. It's a fascinating, complex world out there, and this is just one piece of the puzzle. So keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep questioning, because who knows? You might be the one to discover the next big thing in machine learning.